What's going on everybody? Brandon here, back with another action figure review. Super exciting in front of us, brand new 12 inch figures from Spin Master. We have DC Adventures, Superman, the Man of Steel, with nine accessories from Amazon. We also have a Batman plus Superman versus Dark Side three pack that I found at Walmart. DC Adventures, Superman, nine accessories. Super excited for this one. He comes with the unchained armor. Um, that is a rebirth style Superman with a new 52 armor. Uh, so that is very interesting. Um, I have been very curious to see this one for a while in person. Uh, there has been a lot of hype for it. So very nice to finally have it in hand. That Superman is fantastic. I'll tell you, he already reminds me of uh, Superman sculpts from the 90s. Maybe some art from Six Flags and... A whole slew of things. We've got a lot of Supermans to compare this one to. 20 bucks on Amazon. Very excited for this. Batman and Superman versus Darkseid found at Walmart for 30 bucks. Uh, packaged in Batman Gotham style packaging instead of the Justice League packaging. So that is very interesting. Taking a look at the box art on the back. Very interesting. Um, looks like Superman's emblem is backwards. For some reason i know a lot of people question whether or not this set was even coming out um it had been announced quite some time ago um, and nobody ever saw it so i was very surprised to see this one finally on the shelves for the dark side three pack here is the upc if you need it all right we're gonna get these toys out of the packaging and take a closer look stay tuned all right you guys we got our action figures out of the packaging they look fantastic First up, taking a look at Superman, a fantastic figure. You guys, he looks fantastic. I really, really like the look of this guy. If you've been waiting for a 12-inch Superman figure that fits the bill for Rebirth, this is it. I am very impressed. Um, the articulation and the detail work is fantastic. So all in all, a very nice presentation. A lot of time went into this sculpt work, and it really shows... Uh, the cape is cloth, nice soft goods cape. Um, there is no S on the back, so that's always a little bit of a bummer. But overall, a very nice design. You can see the ports in the side of his arms and in his boots uh, on the back of the belt. That's all for the armor that he comes with. And here's some more up here. The interesting thing is the armor that they chose is the unchained armor. And usually that's for the new 52 Superman. That was a new 52 story. Um, and this is the rebirth Superman. So that is very interesting for sure. My only gripe with this costume, I really wish we would have gotten that painted detail here, just that red trim. We got it sculpted. Why not paint it if it's there? And you took the time to sculpt it. But overall, not too bad. I gotta say, I really like the presentation of this figure a lot. The head sculpt, the classic looking S, really reminds me of some 90s artwork. Um, especially for Six Flags. I think they had a lot of Superman stuff happening in the 90s. Uh, Mid-90s, early 2000s. This is very reminiscent of that look. So all in all, a great looking figure. For Superman's articulation, he has movement in his head, side to side. Very nice. Uh, he can look up just a tad. He can look down just a little bit. Um, he has movement in his arms at the shoulders that come out about that far. Forward, back, full 360. There's a bend and a twist at the elbow. So that is nice. Full wrist articulation with a rotation and bend, twist. Very good. That's fantastic. He does have an ab crunch joint here. Uh, we can turn it left and right. It is tight, but you can do it. Um, he can look forward about that far. So that is not too bad. Get him in a nice action comics or Superman number one pose. Very nice. And uh, back about that far. Not too bad. Uh, nothing here. Um, so... Unfortunately, I really wish we had that cut at the waist. We don't. Legs come out very nice. They come forward pretty good. And they don't really go back. There's a bend at the knee on that ratchet joint, as usual. Looks really good. And for the ankles, they go back and forth. And there's also a twist with the rocker pivot motion. 
So that is fantastic. All in all, you guys, if you're looking for a 12-inch Superman, if you've been waiting, this is it. I honestly thought the previous version of Superman, the one that we have right here packed with Darkseid, right here, I thought was subpar the entire time. This is my new definitive 12-inch Superman for sure. He looks fantastic. For Superman's accessories, it's the unchained armor. So here are what those pieces look like. He does come with the hammer and the shield which is a step above what McFarlane gave us. If you're unfamiliar with the Superman Unchained story, basically this is where Superman is being attacked by Sam Lane and the U.S. government, and they've got a whole bunch of gear and stuff, and they're trying to hurt him, um, a bunch of alien tech that they've confiscated over the years, um, and an alien guy who's working under the government. And so basically Superman confiscates a bunch of weaponry and creates a suit that allows him to basically be stronger, quote unquote, unchained. And so that way he can uh, withstand Sam Lane and everything that the US military has to throw at him. And so I guess like simple um, blows, attacks, um, whatever weaponry that they threw at him, he was able to use his hammer and his shield to stop those attacks. And instead of getting knocked out, he had the armor and the strength that he needed in order to combat Sam Lane. So we're gonna get this armor on Superman and take a closer look. And here is Superman unchained with his armor on. He looks fantastic. I gotta say, I really do like that a lot. A very, very nice touch with this armor. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic. I would have been fine not getting the armor and just having the $10 Superman, but the fact that we get this option is very cool. Um, I do wish that the eyes were painted yellow. That is a missed opportunity for sure. Again, something that's sculpted that we didn't get painted. Um, as far as his articulation being hindered by these pieces, it's definitely not like Batman. Um, there's no bicep tricep. And there's no additional piece on the legs. So um, it's really just down here, over here. The chest piece is not super sturdy, but it shouldn't really go anywhere unless you raise his arms up high. Then you see how it wants to move. Um, and there are ports at the top of the back of the shoulders, but they don't really plug in very well. I will say that the accessories are nice. They do have some holes right there where you can put Superman's fingers. So that way he can hold his stuff easier. All in all, you guys, a very cool piece, and I'm really happy to have this guy. Next, from the Batman and Superman vs. Darkseid 3-pack, here he is from Walmart, Darkseid. This is a 12-inch scale figure, although I think really he'll scale so much better with the McFarland figures. He is massive, and he has quite a bit of detail. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get in there for you and show you everything. So starting with the face sculpt, kind of tough to see his eyes. I, I wish there was a better way to do that. They're just little red dots. So nothing crazy there. Um, all in all, it doesn't look too bad, though. Definitely check the paint apps when you go in. Some of them had some extra white around the mouth from the teeth. You can see, like, he's definitely been in some serious battles. There's a dent and a whole bunch of damage and... That is on all of them. Um, you can see everything going on in his arms and the cracking and just a lot of detail work on this guy. Um, it is fantastic. I can definitely tell a lot went into this design um, and I'm sure it could have been so much more. Um, unfortunately, it's just lightweight and plastic and very limited articulation. But as a stand-in, it's definitely a great piece. So for the articulation, we have moving in his head side to side. He can't look up or down at all. The arms come out only about that far. There's a full 360. Um, we have wrist articulation. And for the first time ever, we have waist articulation on a 12-inch figure from Spin Master. But it comes with the catch of not having anything in the legs at all. I mean, absolutely nothing. So it's just all a big hunk of plastic. The knees do not bend. The ankles do not bend. Nothing. So 
that is it for dark side taking a quick look at batman and superman from the three pack uh, i'll say that they are exactly the same as their original uh, releases on single card there's nothing different or crazy about these guys there's no reason to get them or keep them unless you're planning to customize them um, overall they are very nice figures standard batman figure with some standard articulation i've always appreciated that these guys have some heft to them they are definitely made out of a very sturdy plastic so that is nice they definitely will hold up uh, if your kids are playing with these so all in all not too bad they're great figures i think what i'm most curious about is superman and if we can use that unchained armor on him then it makes sense for me to keep my duplicate on the shelf. I could have my regular Superman. I could have one like this with some unchained armor on him. Uh, and then I could have my new Superman without his armor on him. So that would be very cool. Uh, but yeah, like I said, very high quality. Uh, they're very nice. I think honestly the most with Superman, uh, I just don't like his head sculpt on this figure. Um, and I wish, I really wish I did. but. Honestly, compared to the new one, this feels more like Superboy than Superman. So there it is, Batman and Superman from the three-pack. All right, guys, so this is great. My duplicate Superman from the three-pack does serve a purpose. Uh, we can use most of the unchained armor on him. Then I can keep my regular first edition Superman on the shelf and my new one on the shelf as well. Um, of course, the arm gear and the leg gear will not work on the regular Superman. The belt does sit on there. Uh, it's a little wobbly, but you can get it to work. And the hammer and the shield, chest plate, and the helmet all work great. All right, guys, for a Superman size comparison, here it is. Uh, the unchained armor on the first release Superman, the first release Superman, the current release Superman, Mattel's final Superman, and Justice League 2017 Henry Cavill. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, your favorite Superman. My hat's off to Mattel, honestly. I feel like this is the definitive pre-New 52 Superman. The new Superman, the current one, is great, and I honestly think the first release really looks like a Jonathan Kent with such a young-looking face uh, and looking at the height difference between the two. Um, yeah, definitely gives me Superboy vibes. Anyways, these guys look fantastic. Next, for another size comparison, here's the McFarlane Superman Unchained and the more recent Batman figure that we have with armor that is also attachable removable with the updated articulation from Spin Master. Very interesting. Our new Unchained Superman is taller than the previous Batman. And we also see where all the detail is lacking uh, compared to the original or maybe more comic book accurate version of Superman Unchained. We see the difference in the boots, the legs, the belt, uh, the torso, and definitely in the helmet. But all in all, if you're a fan of the costume and the armor, it's definitely great to have this representation in the 12-inch scale. Overall, these guys look fantastic. For another comparison, here's Superman with most of his armor on, accompanied by some more recent Spin Master 12-inch scale figures. And without any armor on, here's how Superman looks next to those same figures. All in all, not too bad. He's definitely taller than most, taller than Black Adam, Blue Beetle, Joker, uh, but he does fit in very well. Very refreshing to see the new sculpt and the new take, and I think it looks fantastic. Next for a size comparison with Darkseid, here he is next to some DC figures from Spin Master in the 12-inch scale. All in all, they look nice together, but I mean, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb here. Darkseid is way smaller than these guys. He's not even the same height as them. It looks like he's just shorter. Uh, you can see it in his chest and in his shoulders. Um, he's just supposed to be a big, hulking, menacing guy. So I think we're going to have to scale it down a little. While I don't have a DC Direct dark side here or a uh, McFarlane dark side from the Snyder Cut, I do have some other McFarlane figures here, and I think they fit in very nicely with our 12-inch scale Spin Master dark side. This is fantastic. And the New 52 comic 
this was the scaling for dark side versus the rest of the justice league and i think this looks absolutely fantastic a black wash would bring out all of the detail on that spin master dark side and then he would definitely look really good on the shelf with your McFarlane figures. Unfortunately, I don't have another dark side to compare. I don't even have the four inch Spin Master dark side nearby to compare, but I think this definitely looks fantastic. Next here's our 12 inch scale dark side with some four inch scale Spin Master figures. Uh, I think this is just a little bit out of scale here. Four inch figures, I think are a little too small to work with the giant dark side. Um, you could definitely have fun with it, though. If you're a kid, you could definitely set it up. Like the Justice League is taking out the big bad and its dark side. So, I mean, you could definitely make it work. I think the McFarlane figures fit in much better, though. You could definitely do some setups with this 12-inch dark side against the 4-inch Spin Master figures. And it's really cool. Almost like dark side is the playset himself. So, definitely had a lot of fun setting that up. If you're a kid... You could definitely do this and have a great time. All right, you guys, that about does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. The DC Adventures Superman Man of Steel with the nine accessories, 20 bucks on Amazon, and the Batman plus Superman versus Dark Side three pack, 30 bucks at Walmart. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you're going to pick up or pass on these and what you're finding in your local areas and online. I would love to hear from you. You guys' likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and all of the support on the channel has been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you each and every one of you. As I find more new cool and awesome stuff, I'll be sure to bring it to you here. Once again, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching.